everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Tanya if you're stopping by for the first time then welcome I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you're not stopping by for the first time then thank you for all your support I'm going to review today for you my cute little coach Andy backpack so this little backpack I purchased uh, at the end of last year and it was purchased from the coach outlet website this is the Andy backpack it's in that beautiful chalk color it is a lovely pebbled leather and it has gold hardware so the zip is this style this type of bag is the one that has the flap that moves down and it zips like that so there's no lip covering it's just the exposed zip um, it's got a small pocket here at the front and depending on how packed you have the bag this may not be able to fit much but I just keep it for uh, I just keep a small card in there which is just the actual coach little care instructions card and I think I have sometimes a pack of gum in here depending on how packed it is sometimes you can see imprints of items that are inside the bag sort of poking through and if you do happen to put a pack of gum in here again depending on how packed the bag is it tends to push that item forward and you, you tend to see these little imprints like this so for a while there I did have a packet of gum sitting in there and because of the nature of my bag use it was it looked like it was starting to rub against that particular thing and the pebbled nest was starting to flatten out so I quickly took that out okay so that's the front of the bag that's what it looks like it's got the lovely coach badge here in gold it's got a dark brown Yes, it's like a very, very dark brown glazing to go with that sort of warmth of the cream color. This is the back of the bag. Has a little handle here like this. This is actually not the, the bag strap itself. I will remove this and I will show you what the actual bag strap is. So you can carry it like this if you wanted to handheld without the actual strap. I'll, I'll attach that and show you. It's got the little coach swing tag here the little hang tag no pocket at the back I would have liked a pocket but no pocket uh, it does have this feature here and as you can see I do have a fair bit of color transfer on that but I've left it there deliberately because I will show you how I remove that um, and this while I talk about the pros this is very much a con for the bag uh, another I, a style to the bag are these two flaps here I don't know why to be honest because you know the bag would look have looks just as nice without them uh, it's just to sort of continue this idea that is all around and I suppose for aesthetic purposes they've continued it down but maybe if they had stitched it down to the bag that would have looked better because as you can see it's tending to do a little bit of that good old you know 80s hair flick that a lot of us had back then but I'm very careful when I store it to always make sure that I store it so that they are pointing down uh, anything else? Oh yes, the little zip here across the front has got the same chalk leather pull and that essentially is the gist of the bag. That's it. So it's made out of multiple pieces of leather, no feet and that's it. Strap itself that came with the bag is this here also with that sort of brushed gold hardware. It's not the overly shiny. It's shiny but not overly shiny gold hardware and it's completely adjustable and as you can see it has many holes with which to adjust so uh, also with the brown glazing on both sides of the strap now in terms of attaching the strap you don't need to be a rocket science scientist to work it out you just attach it that way now this is how I've been wearing it I've been using it cross body so one of the cons that's what I've been doing when I wear this bag I wear it crossbody I don't actually wear it as a backpack as it's intended because nah anyway so that's how I've been wearing it now this is the strap that comes with it if the bag is heavy it will press on your shoulder you know and across the neck there depending on you know this area here depending what side you wear it and of course how heavy the bag is I tend to pack my bags a lot so this at the moment is quite heavy um, and I've been wearing this bag for the last probably two or three months straight I've put a lot of my other more expensive bags away in storage uh, so the ones I have out tend to be more mid-priced mid-range bags so to speak now having said that because this essentially well it is it's not essentially this is 
a backpack. The nature of the strap is that although it's removable and it's adjustable, if you wear it this way as I have been, these tend, tend to also flap around and pop out. What will happen is that. So this little keeper is quite stretched and that's how it was when it came. It needs to be tighter and firmer or at the very least there need to be perhaps two. So what I was actually doing was I was using um, like a type of acid free double sided adhesive tape just to put there to keep it down so that it would stay fixed for me to wear it this way. Now I will show you the way the strap is supposed to be fixed so that it is worn as a backpack and then you don't get that problem. And that's where this loop comes in. So as you can see, it is a significant loop there and it juts out from the bag significantly. So the idea is to file the strap through and it, and it fits quite easily. At, at first when I, when I received the bag, I didn't know what that was there for. I wasn't like, I, and it didn't come attached already. So this just flips, I mean, files through you then connect your lobster clasps again to it. And so now, so now when attached this way, as you can see, that becomes the anchor point. And then you can actually use the straps as they're intended over the shoulders. Naturally, you can adjust them to make them sit higher or lower. At the moment, I have it on the shorter sitting because I've been wearing it crossbody. But that's how you would wear it as a backpack. So then as you can see, the straps then, or these flaps, won't become as much of a problem. They will still move because unfortunately, unfortunately, <laughs> these two little keepers, and there's only one on each, are quite wide and loose. This would actually need to have like a lengthier one or two, I suppose, for each end. So that's what this Andy backpack looks like <laughs> full. So now let me show you what's actually in it and review the inside and the functionality of it. So this is what I have in my bag. And I'm one of those people that I start off the day neat and tidy, or I start off when I first use the bag neat and tidy. And then by the end of the day or after a few days, it just becomes a mess. I don't know why that happens. I just, if I know I have a bag that I can shove things into, then that's what, exactly what I do. If, if this were a much smaller bag where I couldn't do that, then I would be more careful. But I tend to, although I don't carry many items in there, I've got lots of papers and folded up receipts and things like that that I always carry with me. And sometimes I'm organized, I put them in pouches and sometimes I'm not. Okay, so, mini pochette. Then I have my Louis Vuitton Empreinte Clay. I have my little um, coach card card case with the ID window at the back. Then I have my beautiful four ring key holder. This was gifted to me by another beautiful subscriber come friend, Maggie. I'm using this and I love it and I'm so careful with it. And this is my old phone. I'm not using this now because I got my new one. Anyway, and uh, but I've kept it in there just to show you. I still, I still use this for certain things um, just to sort of show you that it fits in there. Then this is where you know, this is where the real stuff happens. There, see that? No shame. I've got another pouch of papers in it. Um, so these are more papers, receipts, cards. I have my mini pochette, which is full, and yet I still have this stuff in the bottom of my bag. So that's it. That's the bag. So the inside is dark and it's like a cotton lining, just like a cotton fabric. It's nothing fancy. On the back wall of the bag, there is a back slip pocket, just one. And here in leather in brown is the Coach Creed. And that's it. The rest is just one cavity like that. This is a great little bag. It holds a lot, as you saw. I mean, I had a lot of like loose papers and rubbishy stuff, but even if I were to have other pouches in there, it actually would work and it would fit. Um, I find that this is my go-to bag, even though it's in a light color. I certainly got a lot of use out of this for this summer being the light color, but um, I love it. It's a great bag. I, I actually am really in love with Coach. Now, in terms of the strap, and I will explain what I did, because I was finding this to be quite cumbersome, 
I don't use this strap for you know as it was intended and instead instead of this beautiful leather snake skin look strap with this silver hardware yes hardware on this is gold hardware on this is silver but I don't care so what I do is I've been using this strap because it just does that one crossover suits that one purpose of course I can also use it on the shoulder and that's it there and then you get the beautiful detail of the blue snake skin effect there like that um, and I love it and it has given the length this is not adjustable this sits at just the right height for me okay that's for me so yeah this, uh, this is a great little bag I highly recommend it I'm in love with coach I want to buy more coach um, I know coach is sort of frowned on by some people but I think for the value in the end leather is leather for the quality yes they're not made in Italy and France and you know Europe but I think most pieces are made in Vietnam but essentially the quality is there so now what I'm going to show you is how easy it is to remove that and I'm just going to use a quick baby wipe and then what I always do is after each time I clean it because this does rub against your body and that's one of the cons um, it does pick up color uh, I just wipe over it and then I use some of that uh, leather protective spray so I'm just going to use these here which are some baby wipes and I'm going to now show you how I clean that so So there you go guys you will see now that that color has all been removed it is actually almost as clean as the rest so now I'll spray this with that leather protective spray and pop it away because I think this one needs to have a rest now so there you go so the pros of this bag is the size it's just that little bit bigger than the uh, Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini um, it's leather it gives it's it's malleable it's light so the bag itself is actually quite light a couple of cons are these stupid little flaps here on the side and of course this feature here at the back that holds the strap so um, if anyone is interested in buying this little backpack if you can still see it I think they still make it it's great I recommend it so there you go so that's it guys that's my little review of the coach andy mini backpack let me know what you think of it so take care everybody god bless and i'll see you next time ciao hey everybody welcome back to my channel my name is tanya and if you're stopping by for for the for... been a while anyway